This is a podcast discussing motivation and young people by Mikey Phelan, Jack Hallinan, Leo Mara, Adam Stevenson and Kat Costello. In this video we plan to portray and discuss different motivational theories through acting out different scenarios in a classroom. We will then include a voiceover explaining the theory behind each scene and why certain actions were taken by the teacher or student. By the end of this podcast, we hope you will have received a good insight and have a better understanding of motivational theories related to young people. But most of all, we hope you appreciate the gruesome close-ups in some scenes. Oh, thank God for that free class. I hate French. Do you want to see if we can get in the woodwork room, Mr. Murphy? Yeah, sounds like a good idea. We could do a practice in the office and Helen. Sorry, sorry, is there any room for us to work away here in our project? Yeah, yeah, just let's just work away down the back there, just keep an eye on the Thanks. Thanks. So, why are Adam and Jack so happy to get into the woodwork room to work on their projects and develop their skills? They were intrinsically motivated and loved doing woodwork as it was a subject they thoroughly enjoyed and wanted to get on with it. Intrinsic motivation refers to behaviour that is driven by internal rewards. In other words, the motivation to engage in a behaviour arises from within the individual because it is intrinsically rewarding and something they tend to enjoy doing. The behaviour of the boys is driven by the desire for them to improve their own skills not because they have to, but because they feel will better themselves in the area of woodwork. They had a genuine interest in that subject, and so wanted to spend time with it. Yeah, just back from the track there. Uh, minor trains are coming up, so I was doing a few sprints, you know, keep up the fitness. You're working hard, yeah? You have a lot of books with you there. Yeah, I just, I want to get high points in my leaving cert now, so I need to knuckle down a bit for a while. A fair play to you. Look, Cathy, uh, I'm going to have to head away. The dinner's ready, so i sure I'll see you next time. Anyway. See Good you now. Extrinsic motivation refers to the behaviour that is driven by external rewards. In everyday life, a classic example would be people work for the external reward of money. Or in a school setting, students may study hard for good grades or praise. This video highlights that Cathy is extrinsically motivated to study, as she wants to get good grades in her leaving cert, so that she gets the course in college that she wants. Also, it shows that Mikey is extrinsically motivated to train hard, to increase his chances of getting on a football minor team. Behaviourist B.F. Skinner derived the reinforcement theory as part of his work on operant conditioning. This theory implies a method of learning that occurs through rewards and punishments for behaviour. Through operant conditioning, an association is made between a behaviour and a consequence for that behaviour. We are interested in the effects this theory has on people and in our next few videos we will act out various situations which are included in this theory, including positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, positive punishment, and negative punishment. Adam, well done on this essay. It's a serious improvement on last week's work. Keep oh, it up. Oh, thanks, miss. I put a lot of effort into it this time. Positive reinforcement hinges on the fact that when a favourable outcome occurs after an action, that behaviour will be strengthened. In this video, we see that when the teacher praised Adam for his efforts, he really appreciated it, and judging by his facial expressions, will be encouraged to endeavour at his next assignment. Hey lads, watch this. I'll throw it at Miss. Pody! Pody, you know you failed the past three physics tests. You're always distracting the boys. I have no choice. I'm going to have to talk to Mr. O'Dee. You're not going to that semi-final. I'm sorry, miss. Look, I know not to do it again next time, okay? This video is an example of negative reinforcement, where something is removed after a certain behaviour is exhibited. 
Your pony is no longer allowed to play in the semi-final because of his antics. He will know that if he is to play in the final, he cannot misbehave in such a manner again. The key thing about reinforcements is that the end result is to try to increase the behaviour. In this case, Pony's good behaviour in class. I miss. Sorry about this, but I didn't get a chance to go home last night. Jack, that's just not acceptable. It's the second time this week. Look, do question two and three on page 96, and if it's not done by tomorrow, you're just, you're on detention. Yes. Positive punishment. This type of motivation works by presenting a negative consequence after an undesired behaviour is exhibited, making this behaviour less likely to happen. In this video, we see that Jack receives extra homework for not completing his own homework, which will positively help his studies, but also receives the consequence of detention if this behaviour continues in the future, therefore making this behaviour less likely to happen. Okay boys, I'll be back in a minute, just carry on with your work, okay? Yeah, man, Adam, this is the final straw. You've been on your phone three times this week. I told you what would happen if you get caught again. Get your things and get to the principal's office. Miss. No, you can explain to him while you're down there while you're out. Negative punishment involves removing a pleasing stimulus in order to decrease the frequency of the behaviour, thus otherwise known as punishment by removal. In this video, Adam was removed from the classroom and the attention of his friends in order to teach and motivate him not to act like this in class. His friends, the stimulus, are removed in order to achieve this. From watching this podcast, we hope that you now have a clearer insight and a greater understanding of motivation in young people. In particular, our goal was that you would have a better understanding of extrinsic and intrinsic motivation and how to distinguish between them. We also hope that you learn more about B.F. Skinner's theory of reinforcement as a part of operant conditioning and the effect that different types of reinforcement had on the students in our videos. In our various clips, we hope that the close-ups on each individual student and the brief discussion we gave afterwards help you to understand it, why this type of motivation was used, the result expected from it, and the reaction received from the students. Most importantly, thanks a million for watching.